collection of the fragrances for spring. These are going to be the fragrances that I'm going to reach for more often than not. So, this is, you know, this is my top 10 favorite for spring 2021. This is Body Koros. Um, this is like a, it's like an incense scent. Um, it is some um, incense. Uh, it's, it's, it's a little sweet. Uh, it's, it's a little fresh too. This came out around 2000. Really nice scent. It's like, um, it has the, the structure of the original Koros as far as, um, you know, the kind of vibe it has, but it has that added note of incense and everybody makes it nice. And uh, it's not too um, too heavy where you can't wear it in the spring. You know, I wore this around early spring. Now, now we're in May. And where I am, I mean, you know, the temperatures, it, it hasn't, it's not humid yet, but it's, 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 you know, getting starting to get warm now. Um, you know, it's like upper 70s, and you know, uh, last, you know, last couple of days have been like in the 80s. So, um, we were actually moving into deeper into spring. So this, this was something I wore kind of back in like, uh, March, April time frame, but, uh, definitely very similar. How so, how so you see all body corals? Number nine. For the house of Boteca Veneta, this is Boteca Veneta Aromatique for uh, Porom, for men. Uh, Essence Aromatique. Uh, this is a really nice scent. Um, you know, if you're familiar with uh, Boteca Veneta, they, they have um, a lot of the Boteca Veneta line is like, um, it's a lot of, um, it's like piney and leathery scents. This is, this is one of them. It's really nice. Uh, it's not. Um, it's a, it's an EDT, but to me, it performs like a really strong uh, um, eau de cologne. Um, it uh, it projects for maybe about 30 minutes really strongly, and then it kind of hangs around for four to six hours as a skin scent. Um, you know, this 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 has that leather in there, that um, that pininess. There's also some uh, some florals. Um, and uh, some vetiver, a little bit better than the base. So, really nice scent for House of Bottega Veneta. This is a Bottega Veneta. Um, actually, I'm sorry, I took the back. It, 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 this is an Eau de Cologne. Um, I just looked at the back of the bottle. <laughs> yeah, it's a frosted bottle. You really can't see the words too well on here. Uh, you know, for a while I thought it was EDT, but it is an old Eau de Cologne. So, for House of Bottega Veneta, this is Essence Aromatique Cologne. Number eight. House of Dunhill. Uh, I like this scent a lot, um, and um, I've uh, been wearing it for a while. Uh, this is uh, Dunhill Century. House of, House of Dunhill, Dunhill Century. Uh, it's a really nice scent. It reminds me a lot. There's a lot of sandalwood in this scent. I like sandalwood a lot. Uh, it reminds me a lot of um, Santal 33 from the House of uh, Le Labo. That's really nice. Um, it's very. Uh, I would almost. I would really consider this almost a cheapie. Cheapies for me are like 30 and below. I would consider a cheapie 30, 40 below. This is right around 35, 40 right now. Um, it, I don't know what the price is actually right now. Right now, I mean, I, I got this maybe about a, a little over a year ago. When I got it, it was like something like 36 dollars. So it should be. It should be in that 30 to 40 price range right now. It was really nice, long lasting. Uh, projects really well, and like I said, it has a nice sandalwood in there, and it reminds me a lot of uh, Santal 33 from, from Le, Le Labo, which is a really popular scent, nice scent, uh, from the house of Dunhill, this is Dunhill Century. Okay, all right, number seven, from the house of Yves Saint Laurent, once again, this is Y.O. Fresh. Um, I like Y.O. Fresh. Why, why to me, is not really, um, that exciting of a line to me, um, uh, um, uh, you know, when uh, this was actually a Father's Day gift for me last year, and uh, I do like it a lot, uh, I mean, I think it's a great, it's an excellent spring scent, um, you know, I think you can wear this up to like probably into to the 90s before it gets too cloying, um, but you know, if you're familiar, familiar with the Y line, it's, um, you know, it's a lot of um, they're he heavy on the herbs, herbs like this, like sage and this, and uh, some other things. But it's kind of sweet. Um, it's really like a YSL's version of Invictus, kind of. It kind of 
uh, builds off in Invictus DNA. DNA, there's so many so many fragrance houses out there that are making their own version of Invictus. And uh, to me, this, this, to me, and I, and, I, and I think you know, that's what their aim is is to make a, a, their version of Invictus. So, but this is the fresh version. So um, it's good. It's really good. I like it. Um, you know, there's why there's why so why. There's old fresh. I think this is the second one that came on the line. There's there's um, live. If you want to check out live, uh, why so why live. Um, there's the uh, EDP. Now there's a parfum that's out. So it really expands on the line. But this is the one I have, and I like it for spring. My house of Y sales is Y so Y or fresh. All right, so nine, eight, seven, now number six. This is a perennial uh, favorite in my spring list. Uh, summer two, but House of Bulgari, this is Bulgari Black Cologne. I like Bulgari Black, uh, I like Black Orient. I have two uh, for the Black line. This is the Black Cologne and I have Black Orient. I really like Black Cologne a lot. Um, it's a really nice projector. Um, it's 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 sweet. It has that sweetness that um, that uh, a rum is like a note of rum in this, but it's not too heavy where you can't wear it in spring. I would say this is probably good for um, you know spring, early spring, like April, you know May, and then definitely for spring or summer night. So I, I like wearing this for spring or summer nights. So I actually was short on uh, the channel about about this scent. So check it out when you get a chance. But from the house of Bulgari, this is Bulgari Man Black Cologne. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. That was number six, number five spot. And we're going to the top five from the house of Lueve. This is Solo. Um, this is a really nice scent. I've had this maybe like I, I also have have a review of this on my my channel. Also, I've had this for a couple years now. It's a nice dent. It's it's probably about man, it's probably about about forty percent of the bottle left. But I, I reach for this a lot, especially in springtime. Um, this is a nice. Uh, it's it, it, it has some incense in this. Uh, some orange blossom. Uh, it's, it's a really nice citrusy, spicy scent. Um, but it, like I said, once again, it's, it's, a, it's a nice, moderate weight where uh, you're able to definitely pull off in early spring and, and spring nights, no problem. Um, I like a lot. I, I like uh, Loewe products, and you know this is no exception. Uh, this is a, this is one, one of the best from the house of Loewe. Loewe Solo. Number five spot. Number four, another one of my perennial favorites, and it's from the house of Guerlain. This is Guerlain Vetiver. This is the original Vetiver. Um, really nice. I have this and I have Vetiver Extreme. Extreme. I, I like this one better. I put a nice little dent in this one too. So you know, I actually wear these these scents. These are the ones I'm, I'm actually pulling for the most in spring. Uh, I have been for the last couple springs. Uh, to, to me, this is a nice. I like it a lot. I mean, uh, I reach for this a lot in springtime. It's a nice, clean, soapy scent. Nice, clean, soapy Betty, but it still has a little, a little dirtiness in this. Dirtiness in this. I believe it's dropped, it's dropped like 1968, something like that. So the classic scent. It's one of those scents that has like um, 30 different things in it, like like there's walnuts in this, all types of crazy stuff. Um, but the, the real star of the show is that nice, soapy, a nice, soapy uh, Betty there. Still a little dirty because of, because of the, the, the tobacco in this, the tobacco and the walnuts and all the different stuff that's in there kind of gives it a dark edge. It's a nice, clean, soapy scent. I like it a lot. Perfect for spring. Um, you know, one of my favorite, favorite better scents. It also reminds me a lot of um, a lot of uh, Tom Ford. Uh, Tom Ford's great, great Betty Bear. The um, uh, the EDP. That's what this reminds me of also. So. Uh, definitely worth checking out. I mean, you know, you get it for a good price. I believe I got this, got this for like thirty dollars. I bought it like, you know, maybe three years ago. But definitely a great scent. From the house of, Beth from the house of Guerlain, this is Guerlain Betty Beth. All right, third spot. This is a scent that I like a lot. Um, you know, I I'd say it, it, you know, if you see it pop up, definitely grab it. It's from Brooks Brothers. This is Brooks Brothers. It's called New York Gentle Gentleman. Man. Guys, this scent is it's 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 a it's a nice uh, citrus scent, soapy, clean citrusy scent. It it projects like nobody's business. It, it, it's a really great projector. 
um, you know, I, I believe I got this at the Brooks Brothers outlet maybe like three years ago and paid something like $24.99 for it. You can see this pop up. This pops up at Marshalls on TJ Maxx. Sometimes I, I, I see it for like $16.99, $19.99. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, but I, I put a good, maybe like about a third of the bottle left. I've had this bottle for like, you know, a couple years and, and it's this one I really do reach for a lot in the spring. Um, but it, it's, it's just a nice, it's like, it's like lemon verbena in this, citrusy, soapy, it's a classic scent. I mean, this is one of those, um, you know, if you, if you wear a suit to work, you, you'll probably wear a suit, you know, white shirt, you know, with or without a tie. I mean, I mean you know, I, I see this with a na like a navy blue suit, um, you know, white shirt, open collar, and, you know, late spring. Late spring day, like like right, like right around this time, and I wear wear a lot in springtime. So, uh, Brooks Brothers, New York, gentlemen. Like I said, once again, if you see this, if you see this at the outlet, at the Brooks Brothers outlet, so which you know, or if you see it pop up, like I said, I've seen it pop up TJ Maxx and Marshalls. I might actually buy another backup bottle for myself when I see it again. So, how's the Brooks Brothers, Brooks Brothers, New York, New York, gentlemen. Number three spot. Number two. This is another perennial favorite. I'll always have a bottle of this. Now, so Dunhill is Dunhill Icon Racing. I love Dunhill Icon Racing. Um, this is just it's just, it's just a phenomenal set. Um, you know, so, some people say that that, that uh, I know early on people were saying that, that this is Dunhill's version of Invictus. I don't really get Invictus vibes here. I mean, it, it's sweet. It is a little sweet, but it's actually also soapy. Um, you know, it's it, it's, it's uh, you know the grapefruit in this grapefruit. Um, you know, like a fiend because I, I know when I first sprayed this on, the first thing that hit me was that photorealistic grapefruit. And I've never been able to, to smell that. Ever ever since that first time I smelled it and I had it on my skin for a little bit, I could smell that photorealistic grapefruit. It smelled like you just cut into a grapefruit. Um, this is one of the best you know, grapefruit. Grapefruit is a lot of men's, scent, men's fragrances, uh, but I think this one was probably one of the best that I've smelled. And uh, I haven't been able to capture that. Uh, that smell again and on its own that individual note of grapefruit but now the grapefruit i mean you can, you can smell it smell it it's, it it's definitely mixed in there um you know with everything else that, that's, that's going on in this scent another nice clean just uh sweet citrusy it's an awesome scent uh, i have all the dunhill icons um there's four of them uh this in my opinion is the best of all of them and this will always be look green. I love green. I mean, you see, you see the racing stripes. It's just a classy scent. I mean, all the way around. I mean, this looks great on your dresser. I mean, just all the way, class all the way. And I, and I really like it a lot. It'll always be my collection. Number two spot for the House of Dunhill is Dunhill Icon Racing. Now, the number one spot, the number one fragrance that I, I'm, I'm pulling for, that I'll always reach for. Um, it's always going to be in my in my collection. And I love the spring for the House of Prada. This is Prada Amber. Prada Amber. Just nobody does soapy, clean scents like Prada. Prada's the king of soap, king of king of luck of, of, of luxury, clean. Um, you know, Prada alone, uh, I can say with confidence, is my favorite scent. I, I mean, I have over 300 bottle, bottles right now. Uh, Prada Loam is still, Prada Loam was one of my foundational scents that I got into fragrance with. I might make a, you know, uh, foundational video, you know, maybe the first five foundational scents that got me into, into the hobby. I got me to, into, you know, uh, collecting. But uh, Prada Amber is, is just a phenomenal scent. I mean, it, it you know, it's, um, it, ha it has the, like, it's resinous, it's soapy, um, it has a cardamom that's in this. Uh, it's just a lot going on. It's, it's a simple scent, but at the same time, there's a lot going on. And it's um, it's really nice. It's really nice. It projects really nicely. I mean, the bottle. I mean, the, the bottle is just just a beautiful bottle. Class all the way. Um, you know, this is my number one scent for, scent for spring. And I'll keep reaching for it. Um, like I said, can't go wrong with Prada Amber. Number one, number one spot. In my spring list for 2021. Fragrance Miss Amelia, thank you so much for the support. Um, you know, I, I, I really appreciate all, all the comments you leave, all the feedback, all the interactions that we can get as we uh, build this thing. Um, you know, looking to hopefully get uh, 200 subscribers by July. 
Um, we, we just crossed 80 subscribers. Thank you so much for um, for doing that, for help, 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 helping me out with this thing as you know, we continue to share information and continue to grow. So that's the goal for, for July. Uh, we're looking at we're looking to get 200 subscribers by July 2021. So, um, you know, I, it, it's, it's, you know it, it might be a big goal, but I definitely think, think we can do it. I mean, just you know, word of mouth, just talking about, uh, talking about this thing as we get more people, more people are joining the community every day as they, you know, discover fragrances and start to, um, you know, appreciate smelling good and, you know, appreciate the hobby. So all for the love. So Fragrance, Fragrance Fiends Amelia, thank you for support. Thank you for everything. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.